lot of building codes for conventional wood stoves require an external air intake. Our results were that on the plus side, the external air intake acted like an additional thermosiphon because we had it come in very low along the floor and then without any insulation, it would rise up and go into the system. Now, of course, what would happen is, is that the warmer air temperature would warm the air inside the external air intake, thus causing an additional thermosiphon. Um, but of course, the external air, air intake used in that fashion cooled the room, which is not very good. Plus, we just ended up not liking it. Um, the, if it worked correctly, then any stale air in the room remained stale. Whereas if we disabled the external air intake, then it would pull the stale air of the room into the system. So it's kind of like running a fan. And uh, in the end, I did not like using the external air intake. I prefer fresher air in my office, I guess. The theory is that if you burn cold air from outside, then you're not using up all the warm air inside. However, with a rocket mass heater, most of the heat that you get comes when the system isn't running at all. So when the system's all shut down, we're getting heat off of the mass. And that does not consume air from inside the room. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.